Restaurants in need of help are asking Congress to step in again to prevent more closures from sweeping across the industry. Loans and grants kept many establishments afloat this past year. But with a slow comeback, there's a lot more they're asking for. CBS 13's John Dabkovich is getting answers. Before the pandemic, this chic, trendy French Vietnamese restaurant in the heart of San Francisco was open seven nights a week. We can't afford to have a night where we lose money or just break even. It's making progress, but even a restaurant like this can only open five nights a week, with back rent and other hurdles still on the horizon. Costs are rising. You were trying not to put that into the uh, menu prices. Uh, staffing is just really the hardest I've ever seen it. More than 3,000 restaurants across the country, including ice cream maker Devil May Care and Zinfandel Grill from Sacramento, have signed on to a letter asking Congress for more help. Restaurants are closing because they just can't, can't get through the gap. Some restaurants we spoke to say they got PPP loans, but never received any money from the Restaurant Revitalization Fund grants, which total $28 billion from the American Rescue Plan passed by Congress. In its letter, the Independent Restaurant Coalition says more than 86% of restaurants and bars that didn't receive grants are in risk of closing permanently. It's certainly a challenge. I've been in this business more years than I want to admit, and this has uh, been the hardest period of time to navigate. Food looks good. So what can we as customers do to help out restaurants right now? Our owners say the best thing you can do to help them out is just honor your reservation or call as soon as you know you have to cancel it because those empty tables end up costing them each night.